I, I'd always loved horses on the farm. I used to ride horses on the farm. And I was going to join the Shropshire Yeomanry. But the friends I work with on the nursery was all from a, around uh, Patrick Park, Lord Dartmouth, and Beckbury and All Brighton and the villages around there. And, and I, they said, come with us to Bernal Green one night. We're going to join the Yeomanry. And of course, it was a Staffordshire Yeomanry. <laughs> <laughs> I joined it, you know. The first tanks we we had was the uh, with the honey tank. It was a, a light American tank. Each man had to train different. You had to learn what the tank commander did. You had to learn what the radio operator did on the drivers in case they got killed. Then you 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 took a place by. Right. So you had to learn everything, what everybody in the tank, and they had to learn what you did on the gun and everything. Yeah. On the Armin line, when when the advance started, they had tanks, artillery guns, tanks, artillery guns, and there must have been two hundred of each, I should think. You know, when when it went up, mm -hmm. and it hoarse, it, it deafened you the noise. And uh, as I say, uh, when they gave us the lecture down at Alamein before the battle, he said, "You either." Live here or die here, that's what he said. But you're going to advance. I'm going to take you through Africa and knock the Germans straight out, which he did. <laughs> a bloke come walking over, I was cleaning my gun, d uh, doing my big gun cleaning. And this bloke walked over and said, do you know where the Staffordshire Yeomanry is? I said, this is it. He said, you know, Les Sherrington and I said, I'm Les Sherrington. He said, well, I'm your brother Tom, but I oh, never, no. I, I, I never recognised him, you know, not, not straight away. Oh, then I, he said, come and have a drink with me later tonight at, at the canteen. So I went to this tent in the desert, what was in the canteen, had a drink, and I said, I'll see you tomorrow. When I woke up the next day, they'd all gone. Oh. And I never seen him again till he come back from Hamburg after the war, 1945. Yeah, and it must have been about six years after the war. I had a had a big lump come on the back of my neck, and the the uh, doctor kept saying, "It's a cyst. It'll be all right when it's uh, f full." Anyway, one day I went to see him. And I said, "It's giving me some pain. You'll have to do something with it." And uh, he, look, he looked at it and he got his lance out and he just went like that on the top of this big lump and it went pop <laughs> and, a, and a, a, a lump of shrapnel come out about as big as my nail. Oh, just shrapnel, it won't assist. Okay. Just shrapnel from the wall. Yeah. Um, but uh, as I was saying to some friends the other day, uh, oh, I think I had a bad time but one of my friends I write to in the army, he'd come back from Afghanistan, he turned an ID, ID mine, and he's come back with no legs and his left arm off. So yeah. what I went through, I, I know it's bad, but uh, God, what, what, what did he go through? Absolutely. <laughs> That's yeah. how I look at it. Yeah. Yeah.